Tansy run over. <clears throat> An original little cat from her birth. The only tabby in a white black litter. She forgot half the feet on her corners, rowing herself along the basket's edge. Late in raising her dragging belly from the floor, and quite unlike her shrill-voiced siblings, she early made a poignant, muted cry. Original two in her name, first it was Pansy for her angelic face, then Tansy to match the other T's in her family. A simple tabby, not distinguished, except by a chin of melting creamy sweetness responsive to the touch. Her eyes flax blue, her stripes symmetrical, and except by an unimaginable softness of fur. All the morning after I found her dead, her tiger stripe lines echoing the curve made on the grass verge by her still warm corpse all the long way from tail to sideways head. I found myself nonetheless looking across the orchard lawn, expecting to see her little undistinguished tabby trot. All the morning her coal black sister Topsy, fidgety, unable to settle, looked for her down the grass pathway and along the hedge. Tonight she won't sit on the wall heater. She won't be found curled on the annex bed. Above all, I shan't hear her whispered cry when I feed the others in the cold morning. Not again, never again. Yes, it's for myself I'm feeling sorry. Yes, it's a small scale pain. But all losses are small on some scale. Really big ones fell us, and small griefs also sting. Yes, we must put up with this loss too, one of many, then, now, and to come. This small loss with her tiny haunting mew, this little soft cat now gone, to be remembered sometimes among the dead, not lowest in the sad ranks.